All right, if anything, if any one thing was made clear by last run, I think it's really going to be handy to have a Vestral around. So let's go ahead and, and recruit one of those right away. And unrelenting. So this is Castellon. We'll go ahead and rename them. Based on someone else on the list, uh, Dante Bond. Which I will immediately retype. Oh, I s totally spelled that wrong. All right. You, have to, you totally have to delete from scratch, too. Dante Bond. I'm really bad at typing past a microphone. <laughs> Alright, pick a color scheme we haven't used yet. We currently have green and red robes. You can be the white robed character. And then our current main G has the gray mask, so we'll switch. Ah, crap. Of course it wouldn't save my na the name I typed in. There we go. Alright, so we already have a gray mask, so we'll have you be... There we go, gold mask with red... With red covers. And I'm most curious about our new class, the Man-at-Arms, which, which I don't know a lot about. What are the starting negative traits? Uh, will not pray in town. Reduced melee crit, that's problematic as a melee character. We'll have to get rid of that at some point. But hey, but wow, bonus accuracy, damage, crit, and stress resist against Eldritch. Like, he's comically... He has some comically good effects against Eldritch right off the bat. Let's go take a visit, visit to the, the guild with this character. Get him every ability. So we can actually take a look at what his, his options are. Try to get a feel for this, because this is a brand new character. It's our first brand new character to look at in this patch. Ability number one, Crush. Oh, first of all, let's look at this. He has a... He has 31 hit points at base, which seems pretty high. Oh, yeah. Uh, our leveled up character also has 31... Oh, wait, no. Uh, he's got upgraded from... Let's see. This person has plus 20% and they're at 31 right now, so this... Yeah, 26 is where Hellions start. So, uh... The the uh, the man at arms starting at 31 is actually pretty handy. So he has a melee attack that is 85% accuracy and bonus crit, which is on the top of his five starting crit. He has an attack that gives him looks like uh, high accuracy. Oh, it moves him forward. That's important. So it, it's a move that rearranges the party a little bit and helps him get to the front row if he needs to. It has, it does half damage, but it, it knocks an enemy back and stuns them while moving him forward and with a crit chance. That sounds handy. I'm going to go ahead and just grab that one. He has Bellow. He can't use it from, from specifically the back row, but he can use it anywhere else. Targets the entire enemy party to reduce their dodge and speed. So this ability makes sure that your party gets to act first, basically, by giving them the enemy a pretty significant uh, speed reduction. That also sounds pretty handy. Defender, use this from any position. It will... What is this? 20% protection and guard ally. I don't necessarily know what guard ally is. I assume that that might make him take blows for his allies or something. We, we can only really know by learning, but th this might be some sort of super tank. Retribution. Uh, re re pretty much regular accuracy. Reduced, reduced damage. Gives him bonus protection. It marks target and activates Repost. Repost is also another thing. I don't really know what it does. So we'll have to just learn, we'll have to just learn about that. But marking a target could be handy because we have a bounty hunter that benefits from that. He can give someone bonus accuracy. That sounds kind of, a, kind of like a waste of a turn, but it might be better when I upgrade it as he levels up. And I can give one, one of my allies bonus speed and dodge. Those are decent, but are probably not priorities. I kind of like the idea of Bellow. Let's see. I have a Defend ability, a Mark ability, a Speed Reduction ability, and a Moving Forward ability. I kind of like the idea of this, of putting this guy in Super Tank mode. We'll see how this goes. His dodge chance is 5 right now. So I could give him these. Yeah, bonus protection and max hit points. Taking him to 43 hit points and 13 protection. Uh, yeah, that should be pretty handy. So uh, stacking on those heavy, heavy defense uh, uh, items should make him a pretty formidable tank to have in our front row while Dante hangs out in the back. Let's go ahead and get them the abilities they need as the healer. 
Yeah, you want to go ahead and just unselect all, first of all. So, definitely Divine Grace, definitely a Divine Comfort. Those are the necessary healing skills. I generally want a stun. This thing I can use when I'm not in the back row, it gives... It makes the enemy harder to hit, to dodge. And this one give, makes my target do less damage, but I have to use it when I'm uncomfortably close to the front row. Which is something that I'm not psyched about. Otherwise, I'd be all over that ability. A melee attack which seems pointless. And a self-healing damager attack. I'm gonna go for the thing that makes my enemies easier to hit. Cause I, just because I can use that for my fr farther back row, at least. Who is our other new character? We, our new character is the... We have to upgrade a leper. There we go. So, you have... Let's just go ahead and unselect, unselect all. So, so, they changed one thing. Is it Was it revenge? It has bonus damage and bonus crit. Yeah, I think this used... I think using this used to make him... This, this ability used to make him less likely to hit. Now they took that away, now it just gives him a bonus damage and that's it, which makes it way more useful. Self-accuracy... So he, ha he has a single target attack and he has an AoE attack. And the main problem with uh, lepers is they have a low hit chance, in general. Let's see, self-heal and tank. Self-heal... Why is it listed as a melee attack? That's weird. Uh, intimidate, give target reduced damage and accuracy. Uh, could be- that's handy for some reasons, especially the accuracy thing. Definitely want to give him melee attacks. Probably gonna give him Intimidate out of these skills. Uh, if I'm gonna use a buff, I'm probably gonna use Revenge for bonus damage. And I'm not gonna spam buff, so the other ones are- it, it gets kinda pointless to have so many options at some point. That's a decent setup for now for these characters. Everyone else I already had. Let's go ahead and pay a visit to the blacksmith to upgrade the skills of anyone who leveled up le from our last run. That's Pitor and Vanalu. Did, did Petui level? Yes, they did. And Fnatic was already level 2. So if I do one more run with this character, they're going to level up. So if I want to take them in a boss run, I'm going to have to plan ahead because they're going to be gone after that. I do need to be planning on boss runs soon. I, I just want to at least get everyone to level 1. Uh, everyone at least needs to level up so they can get basic... Uh, skill upgrades and stuff like that. Speaking of which, go by the the guild really quick. Definitely upgrade, especially the abilities I actually use. There we go. We were using Shadow Fade. I just gave it a higher stun chance and a higher dodge. Awesome. Was it Throne Dagger? Yeah, th Throne Dagger. Yep, increases the accuracy even more. Poison Dart is going to get another damage of bleed and more bonus accuracy. What's the other one? I was using lunge. Lunge now has five accuracy, one crit. Not terrible options. And I can't use anyone else yet, right? Because they everyone else is brand new. Oh. Right, I can buy upgrades for vanilla. Uh, go for our melee care attacks and our flashbang. Just to get out, get us uh, started. Uh, let's upgrade Mark. Let's just upgrade everything for this character. If there's any, if there's any specific class I'm likely to swap out the skills for, it's probably the Bounty Hunter. I'm probably about ready to run for it. Let's plan out my party. Let's try Jordy Jordan in the front row, Dante in the back, for a tank and heal. Let's see, preferred positions. Can I use? Can I just use this character as the second slot all the time? I can. So I think I'll bring. Uh, Zach Hadron as our damage dealer, and I can I can use Vanille as our second row, as our as, as, as our as our third row fighter. Try to get them up to level two so they can take on some boss fights. Yeah, that'll probably be my approach here. So we'll just look into who needs trinkets. There we go. Let's just take a look at one of our existing healers that has all of my best. Things I give to these characters usually. Uh, actually, no. I have something new to look at now. Let's see, out of these two, I'm gonna grab. See, bonus. Oh, the camouflage co cloak only does bonus dodge when you have high light now. Interesting. But I actually have something new to look at because they upgraded some of my skills. Uh, Dante. Let's take a look here because they did, they did change some of my items. So, bonus virtue chance. And here we go. Bonus to healing skills. 
but minus, minus hit points. That's an interesting little trade-off. Bonus speed, but minus accuracy. Bonus speed, but minus accuracy. Bonus speed could be handy, because I don't think you can miss a heal. So being able to just heal... Yeah, being, being faster on the trigger with heals is probably going to be handy for that character. So many items to sort through. I should probably just start selling some of them. This character will not meditate and has low damage at low hit points. Not super important, because they don't generally necessarily attack. So did someone in this party have a negative trait? There was a Klepto, right? Oh, that's Vanille. I don't... Uh, yeah, that's the that's one character I want to change traits of, but uh, they're probably going to stay in the party for now, because they're the lowest character. So let's pick a run to go on. I think I'm going to go for... Really, we're still clearing towards bosses again? It says... I have a progress bar on this one for some reason. Let's get these guys some experience. So, let's go to the ruins. Wait, no, you, Jordy, you have bonus against Eldritch, so you should go to the Weald. Is where we'll find, most likely find Eldritch enemies as far as I know. Let's get this party started. Load up on some torches. Shovels and keys. Food. And we'll test out a new party member. I'm excited. I'll probably not recruit another party member besides the Arbalest when they show up to test that character out. Because we're going to be at risk of running out of slots for potential f future expansions. Of course, I'll replace people as they die. But I'm trying to avoid that. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Trying, of course, is the uh, operative world word. Ah, uh, mandatory backtracking level. Let's just go to the dead end first, I suppose. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. What is that nightmare item? With what the hell? It, it says the sacrifice of fire is the gate to ruin. Place a torch if you crave the void. It says the gate to ruin. That means if you put a torch here, it's bad. I mean, this is new, so this is probably going to be a bad thing, but I also kind of totally want to see what happens. Uh-oh. Terrifying figure. It's okay. Can be found in the most I guess that's a shambler. He looks friendly. Oh, I'm in the front row. That's not a good place to be in. Uh, let's go ahead and try to backtrack out of the party a little bit. Shit. Oh, shit. No! Fuck! I misclicked and accidentally passed my turn. I can try to stun it. It won't be very effective. He dodged it completely. Okay, good job, me. And of course the leper can't even make a move. Let's see. Can you... Oh, yeah, if I move forward with my melee character, they also can't move forward. This is problematic. This is an all-around bad situation. I also, it looks like I can't... Our torches are fully ablaze. No need to use more. Yeah, the torches are useless right now. Fuck. I need to try to move forward, but every time I try to move forward, I'm messing up my party composition. I'll try to protect ally on Marvestral. Hopefully. Here. Guarded by Jordy Jordan. Oh, light's happening. Oh, cool, he multiplies. This is exciting. This was a terrible idea. I'm gonna die now. This is the end of this whole party. Sorry, guys. I'm glad I recruited you just in time to kill you. <laughs> God, this is a nightmare. Uh, this Vestral needs to back up so they can heal. Let's go. I meant to back the Vestral up last time, but I misclicked on the goddamn pass action, which I frankly forgot even existed because I never use it. Are these Shambler Sycophant, are these going to summon things? Should I kill them? Or is it going to be one of those characters that freaks out when you kill its things? Uh, I'm likely to one-shot it. Or miss. Damn it. Uh... Gonna keep moving forward with our leper. At least he's doing low damage right now. Oh, that stress is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Alright. Let's see here. I can bellow to make their whole party move slower. Retribution. I don't know what repost means. Does it mean that I I must counterattack when I get hit by somebody? And I can do a forward attack. Yeah, this will help me rearrange the party at least, so I should do that. Oh, and, it, and it crit, awesome. At least I'm working on fixing my party composition and I'm giving myself protection. Yep. Really slow party damage. Oh, he does status effects. 
That's gonna be the problem here. Okay. Let's get that party heal going now. I'm gonna have to try to counter effect to attack all the damage coming after us, but it's gonna be severe. I might be in deep shit. This is probably a mistake to do so early on. Is the run is the run option even here? I'm not planning on running right now, but it's a good thing to think about. I don't think I have the option to run. I don't see it anywhere. I don't think I'm able to escape this fight if it goes badly. Does it show up around? Does it show up on the character screen? No. Yeah, I don't see the I don't see the running option. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving forward. Ramparts. Knockback stun. Yeah, okay. Just gonna keep trying to go for it. If I'm lucky, I'll stun the big guy. It'd be really handy, but it's, yeah, I'm not betting on it too much. Okay, uh... Things are nasty right now. Don't appreciate it. 90% stun chance, resistance, 45% success. That's not great. Should probably just start hitting it really hard. I don't know what its weird little pods do. Those are weird. Leper needs to desperately move forward. They rearranged my party again. They're really messing things up for me. Oh my god. Okay. There's a reason to kill those things. They do a billion damage. One million billion trillion damage. This is a bad time to have a weak healer. Okay. Thankfully I have a bu Oh, a crit heal. Awesome. That's perfect. Alright, moving forward with our... There we go. At least the party composition's finally correct. And if I... That my bonus healing will probably help us if we're lucky. Let's try to kill these goddamn nightmare things. They don't do anything when they die, do they? Nope, they just go away. Alright, undulating withdrawal. Gross. That's just a move that he does that makes him go backwards. Damn, I'm taking a lot of damage per turn now. Uh, let's see. Mark ta target, activate, repost. Let's go for that. I'll mark target to hopefully... Set ourselves up. Let's see, we're post active. It just says it's active. It doesn't explain what it does. I guess I'll just figure it out. Come on, someone hit my guy that has a repost active. I assume that means he'll counterattack you, right? Please hit him. No one's hitting him. All right, well, I do bonus damage versus marked with collect bounty. Ah, uh, but I can't hit the marked guy. Wait, did he even get marked? Oh, fuck. It's self mark? I misread that. It makes him. It's, oh, it's self mark target. It makes him a target for the enemy party, but then hopefully counterattacks. And no one's taking the bait, so it's also kind of pointless for me right now. Okay, well, let's just try to murder some things to death right now. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, oh my god. This is going poorly. Alright, I, I have to self heal at this point. Hey, a crit again. Am I getting a ton of critical heals because it's dark right now? Because that's interesting. Uh, probably, do I want an AoE or single target? Single target's probably the way to go. Oh. AoE can one-shot them, if I'm lucky. Uh, please. No! That's not what I wanted to have happen. Is he hurting himself? Oh, that was the repost. He got reposted by attacking me. And it made him take some damage in, in, in revert, in, uh, encounter. That's awesome. Okay. Let's see. Can I knock back his dumb little thistle creature? Let's try that. Uh, move, it is, I can't see its move resistance. I just have to try. Confidence oh, it's dead. I guess that's called. That's crumbles. kind of like a knockback. Shit. Well, this went bad fast. This is a nasty encounter. Oh my god! Everyone needs heals so hard right now. I, uh, I'm in trouble. Okay. Let's go for guard ally on main G and try to keep him from going down. While also increasing my protection. Hopefully. Desperately need to heal main G. Oh, this is the one time it doesn't crit so far. Because of course. I desperately need my melee, I need my attackers to land hits and they're not. And I have so much stacked dots on me right now that I'm in deep shit at this point. Uh, please land an attack. He keeps he keeps creating new enemies, too. Should I even try to attack those? I'm starting to think I should just focus on the big guy, because he's summoning these guys so fast that I can't even get them off the field. Uh, chop. Please land a blow. 7 to 14 is decent damage. Uh, come on. 
Alright, I hit him at least. That's something. God, our hit points are so low. Wow. Is my damage reduction that high that they can't even hurt me? Well, they can hurt her. Okay, Injury and despondence. Oh, I'm at death's door. That's bad. Is it my turn? At least it's my turn. Is she snapping? She's not snapping yet. Uh, self-heal. Come on, let's not lose Dante Bond in the episode that I named them. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we might go through some names pretty quickly here. So I introduced myself to a nasty situation here. Uh, just hit it really hard. Come on. Yeah, I misinterpreted thinking that I could mark people. Wow, I might lose this whole party. Let's do a double check. The run button is not here, right? Oh, there's the run button. It's on the map. Okay, someone was probably yelling at me for that. Oh, do I stick to it for one more turn? Wow, we're taking a lot of bleed per round. Those two are both going to go down to zero. Is this a camping mission? It is a camping mission, so I can kind of recover. Still, though, he's at 25 hit points. I could almost win. YOLO? Fuck, 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 why? Why can't you land the blow when I need you to? Come on, man. How much damage can I do with melee? I can do garbage damage is how much damage I can do. Uh, if only I get him to target me, it's not really working though. Man. All right, I'm out. Retreat failed. Okay, good. Fuck. It can fail? I didn't even know that was a mechanic. I didn't know retreat could fail. So my party's just gonna die now, right? And this is the end. Alright, she's about to die from her bleed, isn't she? Her resolve's tested. Also, she's gonna die from bleeding too, right? She's focused. A of in the eye of the storm. Does she die from the bleed now? She doesn't? Fuck. Does retreat... The very precipice of a wow. Retreating skipped everyone's turn, didn't it? Alright. There goes our... There goes our new... Our new Vestral. Son of a bitch. Please retreat? Ha! <sighs> that went so bad. So bad. Six damage per round. Oh. Let's leave. I'm gonna have to leave real quick here. There we go. Jesus Christ. Lessons to be learned. What a fucking nightmare. No experience, probably negative traits, right? Soft and thin in blood. Okay. Yep. So, <laughs> dead character number three. My obsession caused this great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. I mean, I knew that was going to end bad. I knew that something bad was going to happen. I didn't quite realize how unequipped we were going to be for that encounter. All right. That was the worst thing I've ever done. Ooh, an, an arbalest. At least we get the new class. Oh, they didn't give me another Vestral to recruit. That's a, that's a bummer. Alright, well... At least we can recruit an Arbalest now. And try out this new class. Ti Tiny... Val... Kiri... Tiny Valkyrie. Alright. So we have a new character in the party. Bandage and I managed to get a healer killed. The dancing steps of war. Well, it's a good time to check out the new graveyard. Which looks like this. It actually has personalized tombstones for based on how people died. Well, at least, the, at least Dante Bond is a forever labeled as having been killed by a shambler. Did I lose her their items when they died? Admittedly a little hard to tell. She was carrying a book, right? Book of Sanity. I gave her a book, a Tome of Healing, right? I think, I think we lost it. I think we lose the items that people are carrying when they die. As far as I can tell. I don't think it's around here. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> straight up got a, uh, got a, got a Vestral killed. Next episode, we'll hopefully have a more successful run. That's the, uh, I think that's the only, only the second time I've retreated from a mission, and I think. In this case, it was especially justified. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, where we'll hopefully have a luckier run, and we'll test out the new class, Tiny Valkyrie, probably in conjunction with the uh, Man-at-Arms, who will hopefully get a chance to last more than one turn. And I might rethink which skills I chose to bring along. 
Alright, see you guys next time.